Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to change the CPU fan speed according to the CPU temperature in Corsair water cooler. Alright, so first of all, we need to download the IQ software and then you click the uh, water cooler you have right here. So some of the model can work, some of the model doesn't. So you try according to this step, see if your model support it or not. So here is the performance, right? And then you can see there are some presetted uh, profile here, quiet balance extreme zero RPM, but it doesn't work. So if you press balance, all right, you can change it after you press the balance and then you click the uh, fan and then the pump, it can change the profile. But uh, be reminded that the profile actually changed according to the temperature of the what? Of the pump, all right? So this is just the temperature of the water pump. It is not the temperature of the CPU. So how you can change according to the CPU? Now you click the uh, plus button here and then it will pump up with a uh, custom chart here, okay? So in the sensor, you choose back uh, the uh, CPU. So this is the AMD Ryzen uh, 3600. This is a CPU I want. Uh, this is some uh, Chinese character because I'm a Hong Konger, so there is some Chinese character, but according to your own language, it doesn't really matter, right? So if you want to change according to different uh, different setting, maybe the graphics card, you can change the graphics card. And then this uh, micro star, this one is a MSI uh, system temperature on the motherboard, right? So you can choose according to what the temperature you want. And then this one is just the sensor on the pump. So uh, I think in most of the cases, uh, we want to have the CPU temperature, right? So I choose the Ryzen 5 CPU temperature. And then there is a fixed percentage, fixed RPM and custom curve. So I would choose custom curve because you want to change the uh, fan speed according to the temperature of the CPU, right? So when the temperature is higher, you change the higher speed. When the temperature is lower, you change the lower speed, right? So there are some preset model you can choose here. So quiet, and then you will see there is a curve right here, and then some like uh, balanced or extreme, all right? So I will choose quiet, and then uh, the curve is uh, displayed according to the X axis, which is the temperature of the sensor. And now the sensor choose CPU. So the X axis is a CPU temperature, and then the uh, y exit is a speed, okay, the, the percentage of how the, the fan goes, all right, so 100% is a full speed. So you can see uh, there is a, when it reach 28%, it turns to 20% of the fan speed, all right, and then you can actually move this point also, right, you can move it um, by, by the mouse or click the point and then change the temperature and the percentage you want here, all right? So after you do the profile, it doesn't work yet, all right? So you need to click the uh, custom and then click the fan, okay? Not until the fan, you see there is a custom here and then it will be activated. It will be applied to the fan according to your profile, all right? And then after you press that, no need to press the save or whatever thing, you just need to exit this program and then it works. But I, I figure out that, um, you have to actually recall, I mean, in the in the start menu, you need to make IQ as the default start program, or else it just doesn't apply to, uh, the fan speed doesn't apply, and then the color profile also doesn't apply. So you need to make sure that uh, every time you turn on the windows, and you need to turn on the IQ automatically as well. So in my model, it works like that. Uh, I don't know if in other model, it also works the same. So if you have any comments or any suggestions or any difficulties, or maybe you found that your model doesn't work with this uh, default setting, you may leave a comment in the comment section below, all right? So uh, you may want to try the very last thing is in the setting uh, that you want to update the firmware or the software uh, version uh, before you actually start. So maybe some of the version, because you're having a very old firmware or very old software version, it doesn't work. But after you check the version is the latest version, you still doesn't work. Leave in the comment section below. Let other netizens also know that it, uh, the, the the model or the uh, software doesn't work, all right? So I hope it helps. And remember to like and subscribe if you find this uh, video useful, right? Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next video.